I just dug into the soup a little bit, took two bites, and I love it. It's so good. I cooked in the crock pot for about uh, seven, almost eight hours, and oh my goodness, it's good. One recommendation here, if you like soups and crock pot meals, I can link the recipe down below for you. Paxton also likes it, but Hunter is not a fan, so... I don't know. If you have picky kids, maybe they might not like it, but if you have kids that will eat anything, like Paxton, then this is one of my go-to meals now. Hey guys, we finally got a little heat wave here, so I decided to take the boys outside for these two days. And as you can see, they're clearly loving it. Um, the sun was just so nice and warm. And I was just happy we got two days of full sunshine. What? Uh, that's a person from a toy story. A toy story. It was still a bit windy, so a little bit chilly. That's why they have their winter hats on still. But we had a lot of fun playing outside. Hunter got to ride his bike played with chalk, and then ran around the backyard with some balls. But I just wanted to hop on and do a little voiceover here for you guys, and then you can get to the actual beginning of the vlog. I just wanted to throw these cute little clips in here at the beginning. But I hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog. Give it a thumbs up like Dana Life and yeah, sit back and enjoy the rest. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new. We just pretty much got done with breakfast. I was making the bed. And then, do you need help? There you go. And then I finally decided to take down the Valentine's Day decorations from the window. And we put up some of our... Um, St. Patrick's Day decorations. I know it's not like a holiday you have to decorate for, but they had some cute decorations at the Dollar Tree. Um, like two years ago, I think I got those. So check out your Dollar Tree and get some cute little decorations if you would like. I'm just kind of weird and I like to decorate for Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day and Easter and like all the holidays pretty much. We are just hanging out here. We just read... Where's the book that we just read? We just read Where Do Diggers Sleep at Night? And this is one of their favorite books. And I asked Paxton here to go get all of his trucks that we have. So he's in the toy box here. Got some trucks. And we're just going to play with some trucks now. He's probably going to want to read more books. So we're going to do that. Um, we're just watching some PJ Masks as well. Just in the background. I'm probably going to shut it off though. And then we pulled out the tent today. Oh, 
this little rainbow thing back here. Hunter and I made that, I think, two years ago as well. We made that and it was so cute. It was his idea. He wanted to make a rainbow. And then, yeah. I don't know, I just thought it was super cute. So today I just have some laundry to do. I have to do the dishes. And then yeah, that's pretty much our day. I have a video to go edit. Um, and yeah, just kind of a busy day for me. Paxton here is just gonna play and then later we're going to go pick up Hunter from school. And that's the plan for right now. Okay, so Paxton got this game for Christmas. It's pretty cute. It's kind of like those, um, well, it practically is the colorful bears with in the cups, except these are cute little honey pots. And each of them has a different shape on it because I guess as your child is learning new things like shapes, colors and numbers it comes with these dice over here so you roll the dice and you get a shape and a number and a color so you have to pick out of well I guess <laughs> to be honest I don't know how to play the actual game I never read the instructions but because I don't think purple is a triangle. Yeah, purple is an octagon. So, you could either work on shapes or colors with this. So, you could pick four purple bears out of the purple pot, or you could pick four bears out of the triangle pot. And if I, yeah, the red one is the triangle. So, that's how it is. We're just working on his little pincer grip here with a don't put it in your mouth you silly <laughs> with um the pinchers and he's getting the hang of it but we're just working on that and we're also working on colors right now we're not really using the dice to be honest maybe next year when he's three or something we will use the dice um the game this is the box. It is for three and older, so I just wanted to get this because it was super cute and we could work on colors with him for the time being, and yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. What color is this? Oh, orange. Orange, good job. He just likes to use his hands better. What color is this one? Don't mind my nails. What color is this one? G g uh, green. Green. What color is that one? B b ba, ba. B oh. Blue. So yeah, if you want to get this for your children, this is what the box looks like. I got this on Amazon. I can link it down below for you guys for easier access. But it is for ages 3 and up. Um, but I got it for my 2 year old to learn colors. And it works on visual, tactical, math, and colors. So. That's what it is. I thought this was just a little bit cuter than the bears in the cups, and it was cheaper than the bears in the cups as well. So, if you're looking for a cheaper version of that one, here you go. And it comes with these cute little lids too. It's so cute. Are you playing? Can you find the yellow bears? Yeah. That's blue. Yeah. That's yellow. Good job. Where's an orange bear? Can you which one's orange? Is this orange or is this orange? Mm, no. Yes. Uh. Good job. High five. Red. 
screen. <laughs> High five. <laughs> You're all done now? Are we going to clean up? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you want to take a nap? Is it nap time? No. No, it's not nap time yet. <laughs> it's lunch time almost. Are you hungry? Yes. Okay. We'll go figure out what we're going to have for lunch, okay? Uh, this, uh, uh, Mac and cheese and apple? Yeah. That's what you want? <laughs> okay. Okay, one more clip of this because I've had this for what? <laughs> Three months, two months now? And I just realized this. So, the shape dice is because if you look closely on these bears hold on buddy there there's a group of each color but they have different shapes on them so that is for the shape dice and you match the bear with the shape on it to whatever shape is on the honey pots so that makes a lot more sense you learn something new every day. Paxton woke up about an hour ago, so, man, this lighting. I am leaving to go get Hunter now. I usually don't leave this early, but it is about to storm outside, so we are leaving now, and hopefully we'll be back before it starts raining. I'm really hoping we are. I am bringing an umbrella just in case, but I don't know, Hunter always... Just takes forever to leave the classroom so we will see but I will update you guys when we get back and like I said hopefully it's before the rain comes down on us <laughs> we have been home for I don't know like an hour and a half or something and the boys were just playing I'm moving over to better lighting but the boys played for a little bit and then I started a movie for them and now they just cleaned up to sit down and eat dinner. Do you need help? Okay, we need help Paxton. Okay, so they're just sitting down now to eat dinner. It is about 6 o'clock. Um, so yeah, they're just having some mac and cheese and some slice of, slices of cheese and carrots and cucumbers. So. That's what they wanted. I know Paxton wanted mac and cheese for lunch, and he had a little bit of mac and cheese, but he also had a little bit of my mom's food. She had some cereal. Well, okay. So, when we eat lunch, that's when my mom wakes up to eat her breakfast. Don't ask me why, but... So, she had some cereal with some berries for breakfast, and... Paxton had some of that as well. So right now they're eating dinner. I'm not going to eat yet because I'm not hungry just yet. And yeah. But update on the walk from to and from school. It did not rain on us, thank God. And but I brought the umbrella like I said I would. But Hunter was just starting circle time when I showed up so Paxton and I sat there for 30 minutes waiting for circle time to be done and 
I don't I was just looking out the window and hoping it would not rain but I don't know I watched the radar before I left and it said it was supposed to start raining at 4 that's why I left at 3 30 but it didn't start raining which I'm thankful for but anyway I'm blabbing again Anyway, while the boys were playing, I was finishing up my video just really quickly. I had to just throw some music in there and make a thumbnail. And now it is uploading to YouTube. So that one is going up today. Today is a Monday. This one will probably go up, I don't know, Wednesday? Probably, hopefully, I'm going to try. But yes, this one will go up Wednesday. And I can link Monday's video up here in the cards for you and down in the description box so you can watch it. Alright, I just sat back down and this is the only light that I'm getting because the lamp is all the way over there. And I'm being lazy right now. But I just looked at all the clips that I have for this video and it looks like that I have enough. So I'm just, that sentence did not make sense very much. But I have enough footage, so I'm just going to end the vlog here. Give it a thumbs up for Dana Life Vlogs, and comment down below if you would like to. What is your favorite chore to do at home? And yeah, go subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and hit that bell right next to it so you don't miss future vlogs. Don't forget to go to watch Monday's video. I attempted to cut my hair in that video. So if you want to go see how I cut my hair, just go check that video out. It will be down in the description box for you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.